Okay, eliminate T. T equals X minus X naught over A equals Y minus Y naught over B equals Z minus Z naught over C. Right? I said standard equation. These are called the symmetric equations. Okay? What does symmetric mean? means there's a symmetry between the x, the y, and the z representations. Okay? And I might have a better answer to that if I think about it a little bit. Okay? That's my answer off the top of my head. This is the same form as this, is the same form as this. Okay? Now it's still, there are three equations here, right? These aren't independent. Only two of them would be independent because you could get the third one from these two, right? Since this is equal to this and this is equal to this and this is the same thing, then this has to equal this. Okay? Now you can work out some details how you use these, but that's the symmetric form of the equation of a straight line. Okay? You have two independent conditions. In terms of linear algebra, you got two free variables. X can be expressed in terms of Y and Z, okay, from these two equations. So if you can review what free variables means, these two equations express X in terms of the free variables Y and Z. Okay. Um, and if none of the A, B, and C are zero, then this works. Okay. If any of them are zero, of course, you're not in. You're in a plane parallel to one of the coordinate axes. Your line is in a plane that's parallel to a pair of coordinate axes. Okay. And you can think through that, you know, I, I, I don't want to, that's too much digression right now, <laughs> okay? But it's something you could think about and you'll probably encounter in some of the problems. Okay, now, 